All right, so now we're in Psalm 18, and this is a Psalm of David, uh, of, of deliverance. So it starts out like this. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Isn't that good stuff? So it starts off by saying, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. And, you know, we're told that we love God because he first loved us. That's normal. That's, that's, it's okay to have this reaction to God that is, I love you because you first loved me. And so if you don't love God and you'll know that you love him by how much you obey him, if you're having a hard time obeying God, it's because you don't love him. And the reason why you don't love him is because you don't know how much he loves you and how much he's done for you. So this is an intimate word, love. And so if you will know what God does for you, then you're going to love him more. And he is our strength. We are weak. And here's how he is strong. He is our rock. You know, if somebody is, is throwing something at you, if somebody is shooting at you and you're behind this big boulder, are you safe? Absolutely. God is that rock. He's that fortress. If somebody's trying to hurt you and you're inside a fort, are you afraid? No. If I'm in a house, a well-built house, and it's hailing, it doesn't bother me. If it's raining, it doesn't bother me. He is our deliverer. Um, it says again, he's my strength in whom I trust. You know, are you trusting in yourself? Are you trusting in your money, in your, your strength? Are you, are you trusting in your own intelligence or wisdom or your own friends? You know, all of those are weak compared to God. You are weak compared to God. God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. I'm strong because I'm trusting in God that he's my strength and not anything else. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. This is so good. This reminds me of, um, you know, the armor of God. It says that he is my shield. And we know that Jesus is the word and that the, the word is truth. So Jesus is our shield. God's promises are our shield. You know, life is hard if life is hitting you, if stress is hitting you, if concerns are hitting you, if, if Satan's hitting you with shame uh, that, that you're not enough, that that your dreams won't come true or that, um, you know, you're not going to be able to pay your own bills. All those things we are all getting hit with. And if you put God's promises between you and those attacks, you're fine. God is your shield. You have, If you want to enjoy life, if you want to rejoice in the Lord always like I've learned to do, it's because I put God's promises in between me and, God and life's problems. Let me say that again. I put God's promises in between me and life's problems. So when you know I'm self-employed, that means my, my income is not consistent at all. I don't even know what I'm doing next week for work, and that's normal. But then God provides. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I put that shield up in between me and the problem of paying my bills, and God always provides. Um, and then it says that uh, he is the horn of my salvation. That Man, if you imagine a ram, a ram's horns, and how they're able to just hit something hard, very hard. That reminds me that, um, you know, the helmet of salvation that, man, my, my head is so protected because I know I'm saved. You've got to know that you're saved to have that horn of salvation. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. You know, the Bible says that all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. You know, what are you dealing with? Are you dealing with certain addictions? Are you dealing with certain problems or stresses or depression or anxiety, call upon the name of the Lord. Are you, are you doubting your salvation? Ask God. Number one, if you, if you ask God to save you, he will. All who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Are you dealing with physical ailments? Call upon the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Isn't that good? That man, you will be saved from your enemies. I will be saved from my enemies. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I believe that's in Isaiah. That's a great, great verse. You know, I was thinking the other day and, and I was tempted to worry about certain things in my life. And that came to my mind that, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And so, man, we need to have the same confidence. So, so man, those are verses one through three. Read them, meditate on them, memorize them, and, and make sure that you have God's promises to put up between you and life's problems.